Hello there. I'm going to um, play you a tune that, in actual fact, is very well known. But you may not have heard this tune played in this particular way. So I'm not going to give you too many clues, but you may sort of vaguely recognise the melody. Now I'm having to use a sheet of music because I don't really believe in doing that because I believe in memorising everything before I play it. But on this occasion I only wrote this tune or figured it out I should say about 20 minutes ago so it's still quite fresh in my mind. And it's a tune that um, I'm always grateful for because I recorded a version of this particular tune um, some years ago and it's one of my most popular videos on YouTube. In fact it was picked up by um, a TV production company who felt that the tune was perfect for a production they were making called Dark Angel which was basically about a lady 100 plus years ago who was gradually murdering her husbands by poisoning them. Which, uh, I hope that doesn't give anybody any ideas, but that was basically the gist of the programme, and she was claiming insurance money. A cunning plan indeed. But please, ladies, don't get that idea in your minds, because us guys, we do like to uh, be around for a long, as long as we can. Anyway, I digress. Basically, this tune, I've always been very pleased with it because I've always enjoyed playing it. And this time, I've changed it. Now, I'm going to play the tune, and I wonder if you can recognise where I've actually got the tune from. I'll first of all play it. This is a reel, which is in the key of D, but there's some natural notes. I think it's a C natural. You'll hear that anyway. Uh, I'll play the tune for you now. the tune played as a reel um, and I wonder if you guessed where I actually adapted that tune from. In fact I took it from a jig and the jig was called the Tempany Bit and it's a tune that I play uh, at the tail end of a set of three tunes in a medley. Um, it's called the Lanigan's Ball medley. It's, it's, it's very popular 
it's one of my most popular um, videos on YouTube. Great tune, and I've played that set of, um, of three tunes with this tenpenny bit at the very end. Now I shall play this tune as it should be played, which in actual fact is a jig. Sounds like this. <laughs> Feel very comfortable playing that because I've played that countless of times and it's a great tune but what I've done made this video for really is to point out to you that there are some great melodies out there and if you take a little time with the notation and look at the notation and add one or two notes in here and there you can actually change a jig which is in 6-8 timing, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, ad infinitum, you can change a jig into a reel, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you have to add a few notes into the actual melody, and you have to make sure that they sort of sound right, and also that they play right. You don't want to be going right down onto the G string and then jumping up to the E string, for instance. But as long as they um, kind of flow, I think that's the point. If they flow in as part of a new melody, it works very well. And another thing I've noticed is that when I played the new one, have a great deal of problem in memorizing it and I think that's because I've known the first tune the jig so well and played it so many times and the structure of the melody has kind of stayed in my mind so now that I've got this new reel that I can go out and play or add into a set of reels which I may well do um, it will be quite an easy tune to adapt and remember and play and at the moment I'm okay I'm reading from musical notation which is something I don't normally do but I'm only doing it really to make sure that I don't um, stray too far off the tune because I also can do that at times I can adapt to melody without even thinking about it but um, this tune sort of kind of has an, a, a ring to it that I can sort of vaguely hook on to because I've played the tempani bit jig for so long. So I'll play the first part of the jig. And this is the reel. fluffed a little bit at the end there because I wasn't looking at the notation but I think you get the meaning so it's interesting how you can play around with tunes and do these sort of things now I think what I also do now is I'll um, go away and work on um, a, a, a reel and turn that into a jig and see how that works and maybe turn a polka 
into a hornpipe, although that wouldn't be too hard because they're both in 4-4. But maybe it would be interesting to take a jig and turn it from a straight 6-8 jig into maybe a 12-8 or even perhaps a slip jig on 9-8. Now that might be quite an interesting challenge. So watch this space. This is another one of those videos where I thought I would just pass a few interesting ideas about fiddle playing across to you. And hopefully you'll enjoy watching this video. Um, and of course, I've got the musical notation. So I've uploaded, I will upload that into the community section on my YouTube page so you can you can download it um, and print it out or whatever else and or you can have a look at the difference between the jig and the reel and maybe it might inspire you to have a go at doing something like this yourself who knows anyway it's, it's all good fun it's enjoyable and it's interesting so thanks very much for all of your comments by the way it's really interesting to to receive your feedback and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.